is this a matter of incremental innovation to get there, or does it require like breakthroughs we can't even imagine yet in any of these fields? I think both. We need, for the time being, we, we are very, very lucky to have a lot of solutions already technically prepared. They have to be integrated now. We have to combine, um, uh, let's say, um, um, hard, hardware on the machinery side with uh, software on the intelligence side, with the computer. We have to, to know about the system, more information. We have to combine information, where is power needed and where is power produced. This has to be optimized. This is an into, let's say, a stepwise approach we mm. can go. On the other hand, we need also some revolutionary approaches. And here we are looking, especially for the residual power plants we still use to back all these scenarios I have uh, so far introduced. This means we have to, to look for environmental uh, friendly power production, for example, from coal or gas. This leads to the question what to, what, what to do with the CO2 emissions. Right. So we have to come over with a solution for the CO2, and that is, I think, not, not really on a good track at the moment.